Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolo. So as we all know, budget smartphones these days are getting better and better and companies like Xiaomi, Motorola, Huawei, Lenovo are offering a lot over here at lesser price points. So that is a win-win situation for everyone out there. So today in this video, I am going to talk about the top 5 smartphones which are currently priced under the price point of Rs 15,000 over here in India. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Okay, so starting off the list, at number 5, we have the Lenovo Z2 Plus. Well, well, I know someone out there in the comment section is going to go crazy and say that, dude, how can you include Lenovo Z2 Plus? It is a one year old phone. Are you out of your mind? But wait for a minute. Think about it. This is the only phone in this list which has a Snapdragon 800 series processor and comes for a price of Rs 13,500 only. I know that this phone is over a year old, but still it is a pretty solid buy in 2017 as well. It comes with a Snapdragon 820 processor along with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. The camera on this one is awesome with that 13MP rear sensor along with 4K video recording. It also has an 8MP front sensor and the battery capacity on this one is 3500mAh. The form factor of this phone is particularly small that is, it comes with a 5 inch display which is 1080p. So if you like to have a small phone with a 5 inch display then this is a very good buy for you because the price point is very less and you're getting a lot over here. So again as I mentioned earlier before commenting that this is a 1 year old phone I know that and still it is a pretty solid buy in 2017. Next up at number 4 we have the Lenovo P2. It comes with a Snapdragon 625 processor along with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. Now the display on this one is particularly good. It has a 5.5 inch full HD display that is 1080p but it is super AMOLED. That means it is going to give you crisper display with deeper blacks and the color overall is going to be awesome. It is going to be very accurate and obviously it is going to be way better than an IPS LCD panel. So the super AMOLED screen on this one is the one swag feature that it has and I guess that is enough for most people out there to go ahead and buy this smartphone. It is a pretty solid device out there and it has a massive battery which is 5100 mAh which will give you easily 2 days of usage with that Snapdragon 625 processor. Now the only problem with Lenovo is that it doesn't give you regular updates. So as far as the updates go, I cannot really comment much because Lenovo gives you updates whenever they feel like. So in terms of updates, it is a little bit shaky but other than that, this phone is a pretty solid buy. So if you want to buy this phone, then you can definitely go ahead and buy it because it has a very good display and the battery on this one is awesome as well. Moving on, at number 3, we have the Honor 6X. So the Honor 6X is also known as the swag phone because of that dual lens camera. So it has two lenses. One is a 12 megapixel sensor which is RGB and the other one is a 2 megapixel sensor which is monochrome that is black and white. So how does this work? It uses both the sensors and it gives you an image with better depth. That means the depth of field that is the bokeh effect will be better with the help of these two sensors and I've personally used the Honor 6X and the camera is just awesome. Particularly at this price point that is a price point of Rs 14,000 you are getting a lot over here. Along with that swag camera you are getting a Kirin 655 Octa-Core processor which is equivalent to the Snapdragon 625. So overall you are getting a very good phone over here. You are also getting 4 gigs of RAM along with 64 gigs of internal storage so that all your photos and videos will have enough memory on your phone. So the Honor 6X is a pretty good package if camera is your priority. So the manual mode on the Honor 6X is just awesome. It gives you a lot of options like ISO, white balance, exposure and whatnot. So if you love to play around with the manual mode then again the Honor 6X is a pretty solid buy for you. Now at number 2 it is time for my favorite smartphone that is Xiaomi's Redmi Note 4. Now the Redmi Note 3 over here in India was a very big success because overall it was the best package for the price. And Redmi Note 4 is taking that to the next level because again it is the best package for the price. The Redmi Note 4 may not have the best camera out there but certainly it is the best package for the price. 
Now the battery life on this one is particularly awesome. It has a 4100mAh battery and the optimization is on point. With that Snapdragon 625 processor and 14nm FinFET technology, you are getting awesome battery life. I've personally used this device as my daily driver for 3 months and it gave me 2 days of usage on a heavy use like mine because I use a lot of 4G, YouTube, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram and all those things and I am a light gamer, still it gave me 2 days of usage which is bonkers. So overall if battery life is your priority and you want the overall best package then you can definitely go ahead and buy Redmi Note 4. Now the only complaint with Xiaomi is that the flash sale method. Like why Xiaomi why? Your phones will set sell like hotcakes if you make them available in enough quantities. If you don't have enough quantities then why do you go ahead and launch the smartphone? First have enough quantities and then launch the smartphone so that everyone can get their hands on them. So again even I don't like the flash sale method and if you are annoyed by the same then let me know in the comment section down below. Now for the moment that we've all been waiting for, at number 1 we have the Moto G5 Plus. So as we all know, the Moto G4 Plus was best in terms of camera at that budget price point and this year the G5 Plus is again the best in the budget segment for camera. It comes with a 12 megapixel rear sensor along with an f1.7 aperture which is a very good thing because it will allow a lot of light to enter through it and especially give you better results in terms of low light photography. So the G5 Plus has a great camera and the cherry on the cake is that it has 4K video recording. So that is again a very good thing because phones like Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 and even the Honor 6X doesn't have 4K video recording but this sensor does have a 4K video recording option which is a very good thing because Snapdragon 625 does support 4K video recording so why not give it? So well done Motorola on that part. Now the specs on the G5 Plus go as follows. Snapdragon 625 along with two options, one with 3 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage and the other one with 4 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. It also comes with a dedicated micro HD card slot which is a very good thing. Now the only disappointment with the G5 Plus is its internal storage options. I, I believe that they should have given 332 and 464 but they are giving 316 and 432 which according to me is less. Because come on, even Apple moved to 32GB baseline storage options, so why not everyone move to 32GB baseline storage options and make it the standard across the board. So anyway, other than that, the Moto G5 Plus is a very good buy and especially with that camera, it is the perfect buy for you. Now the higher variant that is with 4GB RAM and 32GB internal storage comes for a price of Rs 17,000. So technically that is not under 15,000 but the lower version that is with 3GB RAM and 16GB internal storage comes for a price of Rs 15,000. So you can go ahead and buy that because it does have a dedicated micro SD card slot so that you can expand storage. So that's it guys, these were the top 5 smartphones under 15,000 rupees over here in India. If you want to buy any of these smartphones, all the links will be available in the description box below. You can go ahead and check them out. Also, I could not cover each and every specification of each and every smartphone because then it would be a very long video. So if you want to know about a particular smartphone in detail, I'll have links to them in the description box below. Also, I have done reviews of some of these smartphones. All those videos will be linked in the i button over here and also in the description box below. So yeah, that's it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you have any questions or any suggestions about the channel, then let me know in the comment section down below or you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, wherever you want. I will be happy to assist you. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one.